Hi, I'm going to try to explain the middle section from Helmut's song, Unsung. The song is mainly in 4-4 time, pretty easy to count and follow and feel in the verses and choruses and also in the uh, ride out at the end. But then there's the bridge and that is where it gets weird. Um, if you try to count through in 4-4 four, four the whole time, you're going to get very frustrated. It's not going to make sense. The way that I uh, believe Paige wrote it, it's certainly the way I've figured out hearing it works best, is to think of it as three groups of three, a group of four, two more groups of three, and two more groups of four. So that adds up to 27 beats. And I'm going to count these threes and fours over the section so you can see or uh, hear what I'm getting at. And then well, I'm going to look at the different parts of the riff. But here's the... And so, and of course they do it three times, but that's the point. Uh, the counting, um, if you feel it that way, uh, it, it, I think it makes sense. Um, and so the main part of the riff, of course, is the... Right? That was just three groups of three. One, two, three, two, two, three, three, two, three. The fourth time around, you extend the measure, uh, and instead of doing three, you, you count four. I can't count and play this one at the same time, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to play the last the measure of 4-4. Four, four. I'm going to play it a couple times in a row and then talk about it. What makes it interesting is that on that one, coming out of that measure, you don't play the downbeat on the guitar. You play the offbeat. If you're thinking about a measure of 4, 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and, it's that last and that gets the G chord. And it carries over, over the downbeat of the one of the next measure. So it's a little bit snaky. It kind of, it, it, it sneaks in there under the downbeat. Only the drum crashes down on the downbeat. So you get a... And it's the same feel, actually, as the next section when you start going one, 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 one. You can see that each one of those starts the D chord actually is on the last eighth note of the previous measure. So it's like one and two and three and four and and two and three and 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 two and three and 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 two and three and 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 two and three and. You don't play the downbeat, that's what makes it funky and slippery. So not playing the downbeat is what makes this riff so cool. And you're going to play, again, the basic cycle. Three measures of three, one measure of four, two measures of three, two measures of four. And the whole thing goes... And that's basically it.